cook a delicious brisket this weekend. And I'm going to use the Chef's Choice Signature Blend pellets from Bear Mountain to mix a hickory, cherry, oak, and maple. I'm going to fill up that hopper on my Bullseye Rectech filled with this amazing pellet. Link in the description. I've also got the hickory wood chunks. And I'm going to show you guys, I've got these specially designed drip trays for the Bullseye. Um, the Bullseye is 22 inches, so I'm sure it'll work on a Weber kettle as well. I'm going to show you how I set it up. I'm just going to clean out my fire pot, position my hickory wood chunks around it. I'm going with three of them this time. Putting my heat deflector back on, putting my drip pan, and fill it from uh, a, a trustworthy water source. <laughs> I'm going to set it up to 225 and just make sure everything else is good. That's the actual temp currently. And those are good too. <laughs> okay, so the cooker is ready at this point. I've got it going. So let's get up into this brisket. And I plan on making chopped brisket sandwiches. So that's why I decided to go with a cheap brisket from my local Walmart. These briskets make absolutely fantastic chop brisket sandwiches so I'm gonna do just a minimal trimming on this thing guys I'm just gonna trim off a couple of pieces of fat that little corner and that is that before I go in with my preferred brisket rub from Pitmaster I'll have the link in the description Mr. Orny Texas Rub and I follow it up with that amazing Texas Rodeo from PS Seasoning guys if you haven't tried this combination on brisket I'm telling you you gotta try it absolutely fantastic and then you see that flap but I'm not gonna trim it I'm just gonna let it go I'm just gonna let it ride I didn't even use a binder on this one because remember we're gonna chop it up in the end to make some delicious chopped BBQ brisket sandwiches and that's just shot right there before I put it in the cooker I'm just gonna let it sweat in a minute before it's time to drop it in the cooker and as you can see we're puffing smoke quite a bit from the hickory chunks and on top of that the bullseye puts off pretty good smoke at 225 I'm not gonna probe it I'm just gonna check it every couple of hours guys it's almost 11 a.m. and I'm just gonna check it every now and then every so often and uh, just another shot of the smoke that we're producing before I come out and check it and read a couple of hours later see the progress Nice crust starting to form. I'm not spritzing. I'm not doing anything like that, guys. Fat side up. Uh, coming back at three. That's uh, four hours later. And you can see it's starting to juice. Here's another couple of hours later. We got some nice bark in this crack in. I'm going to go ahead and probe it. We're hitting 180s. It's time to wrap it. And I'm going to wrap it in foil. Because remember... I want to get this thing nice and tender because the plan is to chop it. We're not slicing this one. We're going to chop it. So I'm going to wrap it nice and tight and foil. I'm going to come back to the cooker, clean off the grill grate a little bit uh, before I place the brisket back on top of there. Uh, at this point, the drip pan has done its job. Brisket's back on. Come back later. Tamp it. And we rocking 210. And I'm good with that. It's sliding in like butter. We're just going to pull it. 210, 211. And that's a wrap, guys. This brisket cook is done. Cooked it same day. You see it's 7 o'clock. We rocked 8 hours. This thing's done. In the bullseye. 225. Bullseye is absolutely great cooker. For same same day brisket or pork butt ham that type of stuff and so it cooled down quite a bit before I put it in the refrigerator for the next day and I know you guys are curious about the fire pot after this long cook I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the grill grate and that tray full of deliciousness and also the heat deflector and as you can see the wood chunks have disappeared except for that shard that you see there which I'm not gonna even take out while I'm in there I'm just gonna clean the fire pot get it ready for the next cook and uh, that's it man it is that simple 
Um, nice, quick cleaning. Just throw everything at the bottom of the cooking chamber. It helps to soak up any, basically anything that gets down there that could cause a fire in the future. Hey guys, here's my trusty cleaver from Academy. It does a great job. And my delicious Rectech Baby original BBQ sauce. And here's that brisket, it's nice and cold. We're gonna go ahead and chop it up while it's cold. This is the next morning. That's a shot of the point. And we're gonna chop it up, man. And check out that slice right there. Brisket deliciousness. We're gonna hurry up and chop it. I'm putting it in a full tray off camera right there. Nice little block of brisket here just to show you guys. And it came out absolutely fantastic. I, I actually put aside a couple of handfuls of it and made some brisket and eggs that morning. It was fantastic. But, uh, yeah, just chopping it up. Real good. These cheap briskets, man, they, they feed a lot of people. Uh, they're cheap and they're delicious. I mean, you can't go wrong with them. You really can't. Especially if you plan on chopping them up like this. It's it's a really good way to feed a lot of people, guys. Nice little chopped up burnt ends right there that you see. That's the finished product. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and cover it with some of that uh, delicious... Rectech original BBQ sauce, vinegar based, uh, before I cover it up in foil, put it back in the fridge, because uh, about five hours later is when we were going to eat this. We just got put the tray into the oven, warmed it up, and made some absolutely fantastic chopped brisket sandwiches with pickles and onions. We had some potato salad. Guys, this, this was an easy cook. Everybody enjoyed these sandwiches just delicious we had leftover brisket for a couple of days that we made potatoes and all kinds of other things with but i uh, appreciate you guys watching we'll catch you on the next one peace out